Are you kidding me? Crazies, this is the insanity mode. I'm a little late to the rifts, but I know, I don't know. I have had zero desire to go to the rifts. The other one in season one was because of Agent Smith, of course, and the variant that you probably will never be able to get again. We're gonna try it and give you my thoughts and then uh, kind of go over, compare the insanity mode to season one sanity mode, insanity mode, and then uh, how they could improve it. I'm not gonna care about any of the challenges, really. That's probably one thing I, I hate is I have to go in and I can't just hit play. I literally have to look at the challenges to see if I want to do them. It, wait, I can already tell you do like more damage. Even with the recommended gem level on the insanity mode. Easy! Do that. I thought a song was playing. I I really like that it's one player though. I don't like the. Uh, that's what I'm noticing right now is that it's just one. Wow, he didn't dodge away. What, what a bot. And I like that the damage is normalized. Okay, they might be cooking here. It almost feels like I'm playing a real player. It almost feels like I'm playing my time right now because he's a bot. Because <laughs> we got level eight, we have a level nine, and then we have a level seven, so it probably averages out to around eight. But yeah, required gem level seven, so it recommends level seven. I like the idea of going to one direction over here versus one direction over here. That is cool, but there's no incentive. Like I think the downwards one should be, it shouldn't be like a boom, boom. It should just be like here, here's an off bracket. Here's an optional one. It shouldn't both go to the same direction. If it, Tom and Jerry is a really unique one, it's a very difficult one, almost like above loony mode, then it should give you a cool reward, like a Tom and Jerry skin. So far the two that I've played, I've been easy because I'm insane. I'm above insane, but I really am liking that you can choose any character you want, any skin too. So beautiful. Hi, I'm disabled in a wheelchair half my life. Oh geez, I'm sorry to hear that. And wanted to thank you for helping me get up to turn your stream off. I'll freaking get up on my chair and slap you in the face. Yep, someone bad that guy. I like the bugs. They're not too like annoying. Oh, it also hits the enemy, so that's good. It honestly feels like I'm playing against a actual player but it does not feel insane <laughs> the door opening clapped his cheeks because i have no desire to do this i want to go to this one and go to this one and just kind of be done with it the only motivation is on the bottom left or bottom right to where you have to get enough stars to even do it to level up all your gems that's not enough incentive for me even if it is because it's a gatekeep right because in order to do this, you have to have gem level 9. So either you pay for it, or you have to do all of them. Forcing you to play something like that is just kind of dumb. Double Samurai. Double Agent Smith. I gotta tell you, it feels way better. It feels like I am fighting another player. I know I've said that like three times, but I'm telling you, that just makes it feel way more enjoyable to play these. The problem is now, they just need to add the difficulty for the veterans. Like, where are the rewards? The rewards are ass. The event is good. That should be a bonus. Let's go! And also the story, maybe that's just a personal thing. I don't really care. I think it'd be cool if there's more cinematics. Like maybe at the beginning to know like what the hell is this even for? It just feels like mini game things and you go and do it, you know? Wait, is this a golf one? Okay, this one I have to do. Complete the course, complete the course. Five or more balls left? Now this one is a little different. So it kind of does make me want to go down to the other side. That's a lot of balls, I agree. Holy shit, how do I do this? Easy. Shit! Boom! All right, we can do it. That one was the hardest one. This is a ooh Fucker. Ooh There it is. Yes! Ooh What? You gotta be kidding me. This is a ooh Oh my god. Ooh Come on! No! Oh, look at that shot! That is fun. That minigame 
The golf one is really good. Let's go check out this one. So this one you have to play. This is the only one where I've had to play Beetlejuice. And I'm okay with that. I'm okay with very certain ones that require that. What the hell? Ah! Right now with these, holy shit. I feel, a, this whole area feels a little lifeless. This is cool, this is new. Oh, you, oh, you have to get the coffins, did I? I like that, little obstacle course. Nice! I really like the start of this, but it's it needs more. It needs more. It almost needs to be like a Mario level where you have to like jump on certain things, otherwise you'll fall in the lava type shit. But that one's better. That one was better than the Samurai Jack one and the one where you're like Arya. It's getting better. That one wasn't bad. It was short. It was sweet. Okay, this one I have to play. But yeah, I don't mind a couple where you have to like it forces you to play the new character. If it's if the rift is based around a certain character, I'm okay with a couple of them to where you have to play that certain character and also new map hello ginormous map that's cool oh yeah i think i have the perk where this charges up like 10 times faster it's kind of crazy i do i mentioned before the gems are good as well i feel like i'm getting more gem xp than i ever have targets let's see how the target is all right let's see how the target modes i'm always a fan and in favor of the target modes watch this do that. I like it because it makes it utilize. This one feels like you more have to utilize your hit. It needs to be more, like I mentioned in the Mario 64 kind of play style, it needs to be more like that to where it actually has a course designated. Imagine if you could go to your character and then it has like a menu of like, oh, Superman target mode. Oh, Superman this mode. So there's character specific modes. And when you go into the target mode, made specifically for Superman, so that way he can, has to use his fly across the map, like no one else would be able to do that. Like if he uses a laser, if there's like, if there's a target on a wall, then it's gonna be ideal for him to use a laser on the wall for speed running. And then at the end of the season, you get a cool banner based on the highest leaderboard you have with that character. Uh, you get a cool reward on your own for getting like one, two, one, two, and three star. You know the difficulty levels usually have like mobile games and whatever. One, two, and three star. If you get three star on speed, then it gives you a cool Superman badge or a target badge with Superman on it. Uh, some, you know what I'm saying? Without the dirt, please. So thank you. You go home, you're sleeping in the middle of the night and you wake up and there's two big boy Jasons next to you. What do you do? Do you just let it happen? Hello YouTube, don't forget to hit the plus and subscribe. We got more than enough room in the crazy forest <laughs> for you. Much love. True. There it is, Arya. You now you're trapped in my bubble. Yeah, you get way more XP. And I've actually enjoyed myself. This is really easy. I probably said it before, but a challenge with rewards. Like a, an actual challenge that most people wouldn't be able to do. High elite, such as myself, spend hours on it. Whoa, this is cool. A little bit. <laughs> okay, that's pretty cool. That would actually be kind of a cool map, not gonna lie. Oh, but the door closes and then another one opens. Oh, he threw it through the door and it kept going through. Okay. What? All right, that's pretty cool. See, now all they need to do, obviously I said make it harder, but how they can make it harder, they need to, one, make the AI actually really difficult, like they're parrying. So just make it a little more difficult for the AI, like the AI actually has, I'm sure it's possible, they can do better moves, they parry more, they actually uh, input combos and it makes it more difficult. Or another thing they could do to make this harder, you know how it says mutators on the middle left? I think that's okay to have default mutators, but these three sections, it should allow you to click and have a drop down menu. And it, you should be able to choose three mutators. It has like maybe five options for each drop down menu. And it lets you choose the mutator that you want to. 
And if you beat it on with one mutator or two or three, you get different rewards based on that. And it should make it pretty difficult. Like I have one life. That's a mutator. Oh, uh, the character, I have to fight two Samurai Jacks instead of one. Maybe they just do more damage or there's fireballs like shooting down, something like that. So that way you get to add the mutators to make it more difficult to unlock certain rewards. Someone hire me. Someone hire me immediately. I do like this. See, this is what I'm talking about. Instead of it going up or down and me making me choose, because then I don't care about this Jake one. I just care about finishing it. And uh, I don't care about that as well. If they could add less disconnects to the wrist as well. <laughs> so like this branching off from previous gems, I actually don't mind that it's a, a new gem as well. Like this one has a bunch of mutators, which is good. Should be a very difficult challenge to get a cool reward, but it shouldn't be required obviously to beat the boss. I think this one is more of a challenge technically, a level eight challenge, not a level seven. So that is a mutator, the challenge. Dude, I almost would enjoy this more to having a set camera where it doesn't even, that would be weird. So he is taking less damage. I see the doors make it really hard to gimp someone. It's just the fact that I do so much little damage, but I don't know. Maybe that's how you have to do it. All right, there we go. It's not bad. It's not bad. It's because he's, geez, that's a lot. Because it still requires you to actually play the game so you don't take too much damage. And I only get one life as well. I actually might lose this game too. This actually is harder, which I like. I like, that's actually really good. Yeah! <laughs> I'll take it, dude. Cause then you're gonna try to fish for that. Cause what's the benefit there? Just the stars? That's probably the biggest downside to this. But I, would, I wouldn't mind it even being harder. Like it should be this hard by default, maybe even harder by default, but then I get to choose the mutators. Overall, I'm actually enjoying this way more than I thought I would. There's something about this that has a vibe. That's probably my go-to move, honestly. It charges up so fast. She's insane. She's insane. She's got the patience. Holy shit. She's actually just doing it perfectly. Holy shit! Ah! Are you kidding me? Stay in the middle of the map. Are you kidding me? It makes the Taz sound too and it pisses me off. There it is. All right, that was, uh, that was kind of harder. Not gonna lie, the Wonder Woman wasn't that hard, but harder than I expected. Ah! I don't know, wait, where am I? What the hell? Shit. Oh my god, what is this? Dude, go! You idiot! What the fuck? I'm pissed off if I don't win this. Dude, there's no way Bugs Bunny is that good. What? He just went right through the fireball! Nice. Dude. I'm on Third! I'm done. Yeah, this mode sucks. I actually like that one as well. The same as the golf. It's a really good one. Make that an event. Make the event where you queue up and then you golf. Almost like golf with your friends, right? Make that a golfing event. Like the summer games, like the summer uh, event that they had, make it so you have to queue up into that game mode where you uh, are all doing the mini golf. And then, you know, do another one where it's the racing. Yeah. How did that not end? What's happening now? Whoa! That's interesting. Nice! See, is it gonna be the same thing? If it's the same thing, that kind of blows. Okay, they're adding a little extra though. Whoa! Jeez, a third one! There's no way that hit me, it's cheating. Dinner! Dude, it's hot in this Santa Claus suit. Also, music would be nice. Uh oh, my dodge meter. Oh my gosh! I should have known I was gonna give me another one. What the hell? He's really big now. 
Let's go! All right, these boss fights, I don't know what they change. I swear this is even better than the uh, one and two riffs. Okay, jeez, I gave up already. You wanna, you wanna hear me beg? I just thought we were having some blast. <laughs> but crazy, that is an insanity mode with some level nine, eight. I think it was an average of eight level eight gems on a seven required difficulty. Overall, I enjoyed that it was one character. And then if it was two, you got a teammate. It was a lot more simple. Uh, you did the damage more accurately represented that you would in a normal match, and you took that damage as well. Mini golf games was way better. This one, the Mario 64 kind of the game, they're all, they're slowly improving that as well. Targets, you guys all know my thoughts. The Mario Kart one, good mode. Good improvements. Biggest things that come to mind, I've probably mentioned it during the video. Rewards, higher difficult content, more branching off difficult content. Matchmaking of these events, make them cool in their own thing. Don't force me to play certain things to level up. I mean, I get it, I get the grind. I'm indifferent about that. But biggest thing, make it more difficult and way better content or uh, rewards. It's a lot better than I was expecting, to be honest. And I hope they improve it and I'm sure they will. I will have to look forward to season three. I will be making a video on uh, the loony mode. I just need to do more grinding. Crazies, let me know what your thoughts on the Insanity Mode are and the new riffs. Because even compared to these two, to this one, at least, number three, it's really good. It's I, I think it's like improved 25%. I feel like it just feels more like I'm playing the game. What are your thoughts down below? With that, crazies, I say goodnight and goodbye. Goodbye, crazies. Goodbye, crazies. I love you, crazies.